And uh, I wasn't sure I was going to talk about this today, but we are um, planning some, uh, we're going to be uh, making some changes to the uh, matching with friends that Whoa! you can play. Oh, I was hoping to get that 50 coin. Whoa! Oh, that's awesome. Holy nice What the? <laughs> I don't know what that was or where that came from. All right. So for anybody who uh, may not have seen it, maybe you missed it. Maybe you were able to check out the Nintendo E3 Direct, uh, but maybe you didn't stick around for the treehouse. We're going to be going through and breaking down everything that they showed in the treehouse. So they got a bunch of cool stuff, as well as if you did not know, a really, really big, crazy big announcement, actually, as you guys can see. Uh, Mr. Tezuka confirmed the ability to play online multiplayer with friends is coming to Super Mario Maker 2, which is probably the biggest thing uh, that people have been asking for in the past couple weeks. And uh, after finding out that we were, in fact, not going to be able to play Super Mario Maker 2 with our friends, it was mostly only randoms. Uh, you play uh, levels with random people online and you can play with your friends locally. So. Uh, the announcement that we're getting this at all is crazy. It's going to be in a future update. May or may not be a day one update. Don't really know. Uh, also, they'd never really got into details about it. Like they say, uh, further details coming soon. Uh, we will see if we are able to play with friends uh, on specific courses or if it's going to be similar to the uh, local uh, play where you're playing through on a bunch of uh, random courses. Um uh, we will find out as soon as they tell us. Hopefully, we will have that information by launch uh, in a couple weeks here. But if not, just know it's coming. Either way, I think I'm happy with either either or. The fact that we're getting the ability to play with people online is really my biggest thing. Uh, even more so than making with people online. So, um, shout outs to Nintendo. I think for hearing the fans and making calls upon that. Well, style, we've got the Koopa Troopa car down there. Uh, all right. Tezuka san, I know the dev team has worked so hard to put so many new things into the game, um, but they're actually not quite done. Yeah, yet. we are going to be a, a we are going to be playing updates you can share with us. We're going to be playing levels with with viewers, um, be able to play with other streamers. It's going to be awesome. You guys will also see they've got a uh, they've got two people from Nintendo as well as Mr. Tezuka who is the producer of Super Mario Maker 2 and a translator who is right behind me here. I'll move over a little bit here. So this is actually where they start, right? This is the right in the beginning of the treehouse. This is when they break the news, but the person playing right now is focused on the level. Continuing our work, and uh, I wasn't sure I was going to talk about this today, but we are um, planning some, uh, we're going to be uh, making some changes to the uh, matching with friends that you can play. Oh, I was hoping to get that 50 coin. Oh, oh that's awesome. Nice Holy to be able shit. To share. And uh, also, uh, kind of cool. Expand on that. A course right on the title screen here. Expand on that. The game. Mm. So let's hop in here. Ah! Expand. <laughs> so maybe hang out in story mode a little. <laughs> so they're jumping right into story mode. Uh, as you can see, they're already at like 14%. Uh, it's not right in the, uh, it's not right in the beginning. Um, they've made a little bit of progress and they are going to skip around so they, they, they don't ruin too much. And they're going to show off a couple levels. They've done they, the stuff in these levels. <sighs> Wait till you see this. Hmm. So um, we also we, might skip around here just a little bit. A lot of elements to the making side of Mario, Super Mario Maker 2, uh, but we also wanted to make sure we upgraded the play side of the game as well. He didn't like Yoshi being used. What? <laughs> no, Yoshi's still in here. And rather than making a sort of simple map layout, we thought we. You see, like how you see how right over here, um, like. It shows you know, that these cost money. I'm assuming that this. some of these are done already, but you're going to have to earn actual coins while you're playing through the levels in order to uh, unlock the other parts. It seems like the story mode is actually going to be quite lengthy. They're gonna, they said something about 100 levels. What's wonderful here is we've got over 100 courses that the dev mm -hmm. team has carefully built to help inspire players, give them ideas of what they can do in the Super Mario Maker game. And right off the bat here, I'm going to try to not... So this is pretty crazy. The clear condition for this one, not allowed to, really not allowed to jump, jump uh, and 
Which, when you think about it, obviously, it seems like it's like a, uh, you know, you're not allowed to jump. You immediately think of, like, one of those Captain Toad treasure levels. Uh, treasure tracker levels where you're not allowed to jump. But it seems like there's a whole bunch of stuff just from the way that they've made this. Like, it, there's going to be a lot of things you're able to do. Especially, you see the, uh, the claw machines coming up through here. Mm. So I assume those would grab you and you would just be in a position that you would have to jump out of it in order to get out of it. And you see the, the whole time he's going through this level, or she's going through this level, he's got the clear condition speech bubble right next to him. Like even this part, if, if they had gone right there, they would have, they would have, it would have been over. You're using bulls to, uh, booze to guide your way and give you a path here. So adding a clear condition to a course uh, that you may have already played, or you know, adding a clear condition um, to a course just allows the type of way you'll play that course, uh, the challenge you'll have to be almost multiplied. It's interesting with the clear conditions making things that are more like puzzles. In, in this course, for example... Like, even this part, it's like, okay, you gotta... The, there's a boo guiding, guarding the path. I have to you gotta, like, draw it out. Get around. Mm, yeah, you, so you can't... Not only can you not jump, yeah, you can't... You can't leave the ground at all. So even falling is out of the question. You couldn't fall down... I think there's a section coming up... Later, we'll, we'll see that. Really, like you said earlier, even more difficult than not being. It, I don't think it disables the jump the input either. So that that makes things really difficult. You'll, she'll comment on it right here. The ways that there there are different lifting mechanisms. I've seen Monty Moles here. We've seen some trampolines. So other things that will get me up to a platform. As long as it's not that I have initiated the action and I don't like hop off too early, I'll be okay. But it's like I almost don't want to have my my right hand on the buttons because I don't want to risk it. Mm -hmm. resist, and, th and this resist, is unfair. Resist. This is way too much temptation. <laughs> the bait. The coin right there. <laughs> but, mm. Now this part's actually pretty cool because I didn't realize that you could do this. Come here, come here. Stay. Oh, I got them all. Nice. And that would be it would be crazy if they implemented double clear conditions. Whoever thought of that really had a good idea, huh? Oh yeah, it's it's so clever. Like if you had to get all hundred coins plus not leave the ground. If you're a course maker, it's a great place to just go and get ideas. If you feel like you've got a little bit of creator's block. So I'm assuming even if these bumpers like lifted you off the ground, you'd be screwed. So even at this part, she can't just fall straight down on it. You have to lift up the boo, make sure you go to get over. There's going to be so many things that you can do with, with this. The clear conditions themselves uh, are just going to, they're going to give life to so many different types of levels. You know, fleshed out courses this time around to really give people the ideas they would need to make interesting courses in the making part of the game. Uh, I'm trying to collect <laughs> as many coins as I can. Yeah, there we go. Nice. You also get Since coins. A big part of the story uh, mode is for where you're at on the flagpole so too. To if you saw, there was a number five right up there. The toads spent all their money, so we're helping them earn <laughs> coins. It's really important. For yeah, now, now you use those coins. They get up there, and then you can use them to. Uh, they get added to your total from the level, and then you can use them to unlock new levels and stuff. Oh, you can do it in SMM one. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. So, um, I'm gonna hop into another. But yeah, this is all SMM. Too. Mm -hmm. thing a little bit later on in story yeah, coins didn't even coins really did not cool, matter uh, and maybe they won't matter outside of story but they definitely do matter in the story that's for sure it's, it's now this is sick so, Yamamura's Dojo, which is something they showed in the treehouse that they have not showed uh, prior to that, which is essentially just a way for the maker lessons are a way for people to get design tips on how to make le better levels. Uh, they also have this Mario moves list, which is crazy. We're going to take a second and and break this down. Uh, but essentially all this is showing is all the different moves you can do in uh in mario maker between the different themes and you can see they're tabbed uh, right there so when i saw this the first time i know that there's been a lot of uh there's been a lot of talk on um between a couple different youtube channels and just hearsay on uh how 
um, how how you're going to be able to air stall if the controls are more like uh, NSMBU Deluxe. Um, they while they don't go and check out, unfortunately, what it looks like in New Super Mario Brothers U, they do take a look uh, real quick at uh, 3D Mario World, and we can take a look. And there's actually some new stuff in here. Uh, so let's go ahead and move forward a little bit. So we're in Super Mario 3D World. As you can see, jump, high jump, higher jump, super jump, crouch. Obvious stuff that you can do. Climbing and descending trees, which is not a thing you can do in the other in the other forms. But uh, obviously, it would be the same thing as a vine. Uh, throw fireballs. We're sliding down, sliding down slopes. Holding objects, throwing objects, dropping objects. Uh, ground pound, wall jumps. All this stuff is pretty much... Uh, Pretty much part of the core. One thing that is new, uh, as you can see right here, the spinning jump, uh, which if you watch the Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational they did at the beginning of E3, uh, is something you would have seen. You're pressing B after you press L, R, Z, or T while holding up on left thumbstick, which is pretty crazy. So you're jumping. You need to be holding. It's basically like you're holding crouch while you're jumping. So like imagine if you were doing a... A long jump like in, in Super Mario uh, uh, 64 or if you're trying to a better I guess a better comparison would be like a backwards flip in Super Mario 64 so you're holding down on the on the trigger and then you hold up and B and he does a spinning jump uh, you've got wall jump wall slide obviously super dash which I'm assuming is just you running forward uh, roll which is something brand new uh, you hit LR while crouching. So if you're in 3D world, if you're crouching and you hit a shoulder button, you're going to roll. I don't think we actually see that uh, anywhere in the treehouse today, but that is an interesting new mechanic that we have not seen before, uh, at least from the old Mario Maker. Another thing is the long jump, what we were literally just talking about uh, from Super Mario 64. Uh, if you hit, I guess you don't even have to hit, you don't even have to hit jump, just L or R, uh, which I think... Is, is LRR, that is crouch, right? That's how you crouch uh, while you're moving. And uh, and you'll be able to do long jumps and stuff as well. Also, uh, something that's new too, uh, well, the last thing actually, uh, crouching and moving, which in any of the old Super Mario Maker uh, palettes, uh, when you're crouched, you could jump, but you couldn't crouch and also walk at the same time. So that is also something new. I guess something that would help uh, get you out of a lot of uh, soft lock situations, uh, which can or cannot be a good thing. I know a lot of people used used to use that kind of mechanic to gate people and keep people in certain areas, uh, and they just won't matter really because you can you can crouch and move. So you see, <laughs> you see, this is something I didn't even look at. Take the time to look at uh, the car controls, the Koopa Trooper car. You can bail out. Obviously, honk the horn. That's dope that we will be able to honk the horn. Climb wall, scratch, slide, claw dive. And all pretty much explanatory Can't stuff there. Nothing really like new. Some of these styles. So I think this is actually going to be a really cool thing for veteran and new players to review. Yeah, and in story mode, uh, I will get a separate pause menu option where I can see exactly what the controls are for the game style I'm playing. So if I haven't seen it before, if I'm somebody who's newer to Mario, maybe a younger player, it's a great place to get familiar. But also we have these maker lessons. And Tezuka san I wonder if you can. Yeah, it's basically anti sabido tech. Way of educating the players. It's a little so I don't know if anybody's actually going to use oh, no. these maker lessons. I hope they do. I hope newer players use them. I'm definitely going to go through and check them out at the very least. They've got beginner, intermediate, and advanced. They've got a whole bunch of different things to help uh, help you guide your levels so that they're not complete ass. <laughs> Treating the player fairly. Read what that says. Do you read? Did you? You got it? Does everybody got it? Treating the player fairly. Let's make sure. Let's make sure that uh, you know everybody sticks to that when Mario Maker Two comes out. Oh look, off-screen thwomp. So as a Japanese person with Dojo being a Japanese. Why are you like this? I know this is how I feel all the time. That wasn't very fair, was it? Cheap shots didn't even give you time to dodge. That's right. All right, so I'm glad we all went to the dojo. Everybody who's watching right now, we've been to the dojo. No off-screen thwomps. I don't want to see any off-screen thwomps in Maker 2. Okay? This is the disclaimer. We're putting it out there. We're all here. We all see it. We got it. No off-screen thwomps. 
You're gonna stop and lock me so hard, Daddy's Nugget. Man, it's uh, it'll be crazy. It'll be crazy in 3D world. There's gonna be a lot of other ways to get out of it. Nintendo's know-how that we've, you know, accumulated over the years is really packed into all of these little lessons, and it's there for you to find. <laughs> yeah, this ultimately might be the anti. This might be like the anti. Uh, the anti booklet for for troll levels. People will read all this and be like, "Oh, but if I do this with it, then I will actually screw them out." This is how you be helpful. In making their own courses, from what we've got inside the Yamamura Dojo. And the writing honestly is just really fun and entertaining in them as well. You know, like off-screen thwomps. I didn't think of that. Different save file. So in this save file. We're a little further along, so we're not going to show you how the castle has shaped up. We're not going to show you the course list anymore, but we are going to show you a few different courses. And All right, gonna so they're going to pop into a couple different space. levels here, and, uh, just along so the way. I think they're they start off at like. Story mode. Let's see where they're at here. So I'm in the first course. Oh, okay, cool. So this level is also from the. Uh, yeah, right away. So from the initial the, uh, trailer uh, for Super Mario Maker 2, you might recognize it. This is a brand new game style for Super Mario Maker 2, the 3D world style. I wonder if you could talk to us though about adapting, uh, you know, adding that to the game, adapting. It's a shame. Imagine if they got people from Maker 1 community to help demonstrate the lessons. Eh, I don't think that's super necessary. I feel like te they, they, I feel like what they've they've done with the uh, with the guide is is uh, what do you call it? Pretty well done. So check this out. This part is crazy. Watch this. Cannot break those via ground pound, right? So we knew we wanted to bring in some sort of a, a new game. Look at that! Game style for Super Mario. Look at that! You're able to cat swipe the the background bonsai bullets and and rotate them and change their direction. Absolutely nuts! I can already think of all sorts of stuff you'd be able to do with that. You know, you get into a speed run, you gotta quick grab the cat suit, swipe it, take damage boost, go back, run, pop off the top of it. Craziness. Do you lose coins when you die? You probably do in story mode, but I don't think it matters outside of that. But yeah, that's something new that they showed in Treehouse that they didn't have uh, really at any other point. Um, and so this was kind of a new challenge for us and uh, represented, you know, one of the, the larger things that we had to challenge when, when making this game. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, and our titles, shout out to know, Nintendo for having the Treehouse, to the other, and too. There's a lot of people who, who probably just watched the Direct and didn't watch the Treehouse at all. Uh, but it's, it's cool that they have, like, this extra extra time where they're showing off gameplay and stuff. That was a big challenge for us. Which is something they often do. Mm. But um, I think we were successful in, in bringing uh, you know, Super Mario 3D World into the game, and uh, I think people will be able to kind of get a different sort of flavor of play uh, from that, that game style. Yeah, it's really fun. I think it's it's not just has that new move set, the new art style, um, the new ten for the top of the flagpole, five or lower. I think you might even go lower than that. You might get less than five coins the lower you go. It really it really feels great. I mean, there's so many different types of clear conditions that you can do. I, I don't think it'll be solely to uh, Cat Mario stuff. All right, so this is actually insane. When I saw this the first time, so you're able to put night mode in the sub world, but not in the regular world. So what this whole level is uh, that you're about to watch, it's the same level uh, once you're in the sub world and in the overworld, but in the sub world, it's upside down anti-gravity. Uh, and... Uh, when you hit the on and off switch, as you can see right here, it stays turned on uh, between the overworld and the subworld. Can you tell us a bit more about the development of these? Because it's so interesting how they change up the gameplay in some pretty significant ways. This is just like insane. I'm sure you're going to see a bunch of these in Mario Maker 2. You're going to see, you already get these kind of levels in Maker 2 where you're playing, or in Maker 1, where you're playing through, uh, you know, you're going through subworlds and overworlds and it's the same exact level. But this time it's like, you know, with the, the ability to change gravity and, and have different themes that affect 
effect, like physics, you know you're going to get this. So, yeah, it wouldn't be... What's up, Dan? Yeah, dude, definitely. Maker ...if we just added, you know, night, and that was it. So... Like, this hurts my head looking at it. This part especially. The first time I saw this, I was like, uh-oh. ...game styles and see what the effect is. Uh... You know, you can see one here, but there's yeah, the first a time I saw this, it broke my brain. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Same exactly. I just, you're not used to seeing stuff like that. So <laughs> So yeah, you might feel, you know, uh, these types There's a lot of booze to have up there. Ah! See, like, none of this looks real! It, it just doesn't look real to be jumping through that way. Like, uh, I don't, like, I know that, it, it, like, I get that we're, we're underground, but, like, that just doesn't look right. There's just something about this. There's just something about this that's like, what am I doing? It's insane. Well, the fact that in the, oh, go, go ahead. Yeah, see Checkpoints aren't a power-up as well. That is a toggle. It is a toggleable so thing. They have something they talked about. The fact uh, that the night, I remember uh, watching a different YouTube video where you can choose to put check power-ups in the checkpoints. Your sub area with that night, a player is going to go down a pipe and they might not know what's going to happen. Is it going to be upside down gravity? Is it going to be something else? So it really, I think. I'm wondering if if the the left rights are reversed as well. The, you're the person playing your your level. Morgan san ga ano honto ni ano kosu zukuri ga suki de. This part too crazy. The first time you see it, you're like, okay, well obviously you're not going to be able to go on that any other way but upside down. But even looking at that, I'm thinking they're going to have to get up on top of the right side, and then I'm like, wait, no, they're not getting up on top of the right side, they're going to be fucking underneath it, riding it. Like, this is, uh, it's so hard to read. Yeah, an upside down vertical level, can you imagine? Also something right here, you'll notice real quick, we'll go ahead and, and, and pause this. Shout outs to Velhart for noticing this upon the first time seeing it. You don't have to hit the gold tape in order to clear the level. Which is, yes, it's more along the lines of Super Mario World as it, than it is to... Here we go. Check this out. Bing, 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 bing. Clearly does not touch it. Clearly not even close. He's a full Mario away. And something they didn't talk about. Again, shout out to Velhart for noticing that. During the so, first time, um, our staff, you know, this was one thing that they were able to try out. You know, all sorts of ideas that they that they something had. they also and, haven't shown uh, is if we're gonna get that like just whoop, 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 as well. like oh what that whole thing they always <laughs> cut out right before you beat a Super Mario World level. No idea if they're putting the B whoop in there. It's not just the person who we can only hope. Kind of guiding development of the game, uh, but pray for the B whoop. All throw ideas. You can do with clear pipes, mm. and they are an incredibly even even all this like this the fact that you can. Add slopes. And you guys also saw it gives it gives course. all of the levels like a very like they look like hand carved like it, the levels themselves look so much better with with slopes. Not even from like obviously the slopes not gonna matter up there like to Mario right. At least in this situation it doesn't. But like it just looks like such a, a much more handcrafted thing. Hmm. Yeah, and with clear conditions, there's a variety of them you can set uh, when making your courses. For example, needing to defeat a certain number of specific enemies, uh, things like that as well. So, it's helpful as you're creating a course that clear conditions reflect what you've already placed in a course, so you don't have to necessarily plan ahead for it. Yeah, the background looks beautiful. Feels really good to you, and then when you're done, take a look and see, okay, which clear conditions are supported by what I made. Do these mega bloopers right here. Is it just me or does Super Mario look weird when he's like not swimming and he's like descending? He's just like. Like right there, he's just like dead in the water. So you can you can make a course and have people play it, 
and then have them help you decide what sort of clear condition would work well for this course, <laughs> or you can do that on your own <laughs> and uh, make that decision all by yourself. So this guy kind of looks like trouble, but I think I can use these clear Sniped pipes. him out. Nice. Pathing fireballs through clear pipes is so satisfying. <laughs> I think it's when you're holding forward and not swimming. Because when you don't press anything, he's just like, he's, he's straight up and down. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> they can't escape. It feels like the fireballs go way faster too. Maybe it's just the graphics on the fireballs. So I gotta be careful not to just have it chase me. Yeah, you'll notice two bloopers don't move in their normal fashion. Like they usually do that that up, up, down, and descend to where you go. They're just kind of like in the water chilling. So yeah, please don't ask me. 3D world bloopers are crazy. Let's go ahead and skip ahead to this next level here. Getting on that and trying out new things. I still learn things. I, I think I know everything, and then I like trigger a certain thing, and I realize an icicle can trigger an on-off switch, and I'm like, I did not know that. Okay, so this is a really tricky course. We're seeing another. Largely because of the desert wind here at night. Yeah, you see the wind is like so, pushing against her as she's like trying to move throughout the level. Desert, and then turn on night, you're gonna get this intermittent wind, which. Uh, which is gonna be crazy when it comes to a Kaizo tech. I, I can already imagine trying to hit, having to hit yeah, so mid airs I've in the middle of the wind. Just hang out. So I'm just gonna stand here. I'm not touching anything on my controller. Or having to get the boost from the wind. Because it can go the other way. Left, left facing mid airs. I'm not doing anything. With the help of the, with the help of the wind. So much trickier, and it's so interesting when you're dealing with boss fights, trying to make sure, okay, I need to time this also to the wind sometimes it's actually going to give you an extra boost to get somewhere other times mm. it's going to push you right where you don't want to be yeah an icicle could turn on and off on an off switch what's up charlie q in the invitational you saw that uh, uh a skewer was turning on on and off switch so you, it doesn't have to be mario that hits it they also had a shell turn one on for you in the nighttime courses because uh you know people might uh might get bored but yeah there, there's a lot definitely <laughs> And folks Mega coins. Home, Even this stuff looks really awesome. Like the background here, it's really, really good. Uh, that's something special that we actually wanted to introduce during the segment as well and talk about a little bit. Also, so the first time I saw this, earlier. this messed with me. Uh, so check this out. This right here, the background, this pillar, right? This pillar of light comes down and it's between the two blocks. Looks normal, right? But this one, just from like an aesthetics point, it's the same color as the as this top, the glare or the shine off the top of the bricks. So it looks like it's like got a completely different look. Uh, on this one, it wasn't so bad. I think it was on the first one. This one, yeah. It's like it just looks like the shapes are way off. All right, let's go back here. All right, they're about to get into a crazy ass feature that I think and I hope is only limited to story I mode. Of my screen that you haven't seen before. Uh, that's something special that we actually wanted to introduce during the segment as well and talk about a little bit. So we triggered that earlier so we could show it off. I'm just gonna make sure I'm somewhere safe. All right, so check this out. Look at the oh, bottom. Hey. Look so at the here, bottom example, if I was left really of the screen right now. Of course, and the game noticed, hey, you're, you're maybe having a rough time. My brother turns up and gives me access to a little collection of course parts. So Luigi's going to say, hey, you seem like you're having a hard time, bro. Let's see if this can help you out. Luigi's here there to help you a out. Small assortment of course parts. And you could just start, I can give yourself a power up. To modify it's similar to like playing. 3D so world where they give you like the, hard time with a jump. Maybe I'm gonna use the forgiveness like power ups. Myself. Or, yeah, baby mode essentially. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, all. hopefully, this is only so in there. story mode. Um, but can we talk a little bit about this help feature in Luigi and how this is going to be interesting to folks who are playing the game? Hmm. Hi, um, also, real quick, real, real quick, another shout out to my buddy Velhart. If you guys don't know, make sure you go follow on Twitch. Something that is new. You see we have Mega Mega Mario here, right? You got the Mega Mushroom, okay? But normally in in SMM1, uh when you get hit as Mega Mario, you go down to Little Mario. In this one, you go from Mega Mario to big Mario, oh, and then you can go down to small Mario. Shout out to Vel and his hawk eye. 
for noticing something like that. Just real little stuff. Yo, what's up, Ike? Yeah, also, there's no CRT filter with the uh, Big Mushroom as well. We go ahead and skip, pack, dig, skip past to get back where they were at. Oh, they're taking a different path. Actually, let's not skip past this. So I was worried that, you know, some people might get so hooked on this mode that they would just continue playing it and just go right through it. <laughs> they tried to block it off so that the, the, the bro wouldn't go past there. That bro was like, no. I'm coming over the top. Like Stallone. I wanted to make sure that there was uh, something for people who might have trouble with some of these stages uh, so that they would also be able to make it make their way through it and so include some way to help people that might not be as advanced uh, as other players. And so, you know, this is a game about making, so I thought it would be fun if there was a way to include a little bit of course making, even when you're playing a course like this. Um, so we included this. So when they talk uh, about being able to make while you're playing, it would be really, really awesome if they did something similar to, like, Ultimate Chicken Horse, if you're familiar with that game, where you're literally taking turns making and then playing through the levels. You know, a lighthearted just something we had kind of talked about be able to add prior to the release elements, of Maker 2, uh, even before they announced well, Maker 2, it would be like a cool feature for them to have. I cannot believe how big, hold on, I cannot believe how big uh, this guy is when, when he presses, well, not when he presses down, but when he goes into spike mode, look how gigantic he is. Look how gigantic the amount of space. He's a three by four monster, four, no. Yes, three by four monster. It's insane. That man is mega chungus. Mm. He chungalungus. And so that means that you don't have to. You don't have to just persevere. You know, stoic. Please just go to the. Please just go to the flag. You know, making any changes. This gives you the ability. You know, if you want there to be a block here, you want to make a small change. You can go ahead and do that. Yeah, and this little music and animation you're seeing is something from like a Japanese festival that we thought would be fun to add. This is cool, and I think it also adds twinkling the twinkling stars. Oh no, the twinkling stars are there. So it adds the uh, the rose petals. It looks like. Uh, the the pink petals falling and the lanterns up top. Oh, yeah, that one's hard. You want to stump me? Put a desert wind in there, and mm. suddenly I'm flying all over. Yeah, that was not a. I, I can about tell about that like, that oh, is going to make levels level. very very tough. All right, let's skip ahead here real quick. They've got another. They've been showing off a lot of these clear uh, condition levels. And if we're lucky, I'm going to try to pull this off in one shot. This is another clear condition. All I have to do is beat one enemy. You think, I'll take one enemy. That's no problem. Just beat a pom-pom. They're going to show off some pretty cool boss uh, the problem techniques is where here. I'm fighting the pom-pom is a little complicated. So I've got these blinking blocks. And she wants to use them as well as me. So if I don't give her somewhere to stand, she's not going to end up somewhere I can fight her. I... You can tell, kind of tell which one is which. I think they're like a little bit. The real one is like a brighter color. Yeah. The other one is a brighter color upon entry. This is a really classic looking boss fight, too. Hopefully, I've redeemed myself. At least I got the pop up. And here, so I've got the little flag above my head. I managed the clear condition. And it's almost like forgiveness. This little blinking box, like, it's okay. We'll just take you up to the top. Oh, so. But yeah, pretty awesome uh, uh, to see a lot of that for the first time. That plus plus the fact that they announced we're getting multiplayer is bananas. The Friends multiplayer is a massive announcement. It's the biggest announcement for sure. And then at the very end, she brings it back up. Um, and I, I think that's about all the time we've got. But uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, as you said, the dev team is still... Uh, working on things in the game, wrapping things up, and that uh, new ability that's going to be coming uh, with an update to be able to play with your friends online, I think is something that uh, hopefully folks will really enjoy when the game launches and then we get some of the update work done. Mm. Well, I know. 
あの先ほど言ったようにあの開発が、so、she brings that up、まあ、and then after she brings that up they never say yeah that's gonna that's what we're gonna do and it's gonna be awesome we're excited for it they kind of like jump around it and just talk about the package as a whole and、uh, it wasn't really until Nintendo tweeted that out that I felt like okay now we for sure know I needed after what happened with the initial Mario Maker 2 trailer I needed straight up like we will have this in game from Nintendo but yeah yeah us first Cliffy dude viewer level battles are coming you guys think we'll see anything new today yes no maybe so Am I gonna make a level with the Angry Sun? Fuck yeah. That's one thing I personally wanna know about. I wanna know if you can put stuff on the Angry Sun. Can you attach a thing to the Angry Sun, or is it like the Angry Sun is just what it is? Welcome back、it、to、is. Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. I'm Sam, joined by my colleagues Morgan and Teresa. And we're gonna dive back into Super Mario Maker. Oh, Team. yeah. This time we're actually gonna go under the hood with one of the levels that was created for the Invitational that happened a few days ago.、Mm. And、uh, we're taking a look at、uh, the course here in play mode. But、uh, where do you wanna get us started, Morgan? Yeah, so this is、uh, the course that if you guys watched the Super Mario Maker Invitational, if you didn't, check it out.、Uh, we've got that up on our、uh, Nintendo YouTube.、But、we did courses, check it out.、Uh, all the、Sorry. courses for the Invitational. Created by folks in the treehouse, which I'm、uh, lucky to be a member of. And、uh, I was one of those folks, but actually, a gentleman named Ethan Dill created this course, but I helped playtest it quite a bit. So I feel,、uh, I feel like I have the authority to talk about、Shout、it. Shoutouts to、scenes. Ethan.、So、I'm just playing through the start. It's,、uh, the start's pretty simple. We've got a couple question mark blocks. We've got a super mushroom there. We've got a, a classic, very large fish. Classic、yeah. fish, <laughs> fish in a box gag there. Give me that super mushroom. <laughs> And then a slope. We had to have a slope right out of the gate. And then an exclamation mark block,、uh, which you can see that there's no way to hit it from underneath, so I need to ground pound it. You、and、could、right、hit that there, from underneath. That's how I would get out of this area. But you could, like I said, we're not here to play through this course necessarily. We're going to get under the hood. So let's hop into maker mode. And one thing right off the bat, I'm going to tap the right thumbstick here, and I can actually zoom out into this view mode, which is、that's、really、sick. cool for sort of. When you're making and、uh, that is actually sick. Know, the zoom out playing, mode. Getting sort of a bird's eye view. I've seen、so、zoomed out、really、pictures before、right here, uh, at the start, like, like said, screenshots and stuff.、Um, but I've never seen actually anybody zoom actually zoom out while、here. they were in the thing.、Uh, That's awesome. Just gonna show off this fish in the box. Go ahead and grab that out. Obviously, like in Mario Maker, to put an enemy in a in a, you can、uh, just slide it into the question mark block. But whereas you would change an enemy status by shaking it in Mario Maker, and this time、uh, you actually just tap and hold. And that will give me、uh, all of my options there. So you can see that one already has a、cool. mushroom on there. I'm going to go ahead and add wings to it.、Uh, I don't, why not a parachute also? A winged parachute? Oh my god, what is this? What's even gonna happen? What is gonna happen? Is he gonna float quickly? It's really handy if you don't quite remember off the top of your head what options you have for a particular part instead of having to、uh, use a little bit of trial and error. You just tap and hold, see that menu, and all of your options are gonna be laid out right there. I'm gonna change that to a fire flower for reasons that will become clear in a moment.、Um, so we actually also had some Twitter polls、uh, about this course. Maybe you guys saw that, maybe you did not. We、I、had people vote on what、uh, we're gonna add to this course because. One of the things about this course is that we didn't make it super hard because we wanted the players to get through it pretty quickly、mm. um, without dying too much. So,、uh, before I add the clear pipes, though, shout、I'm、out to Dragon to Feeny for crushing this level, by the way. How this exclamation mark block works.、Um, so, let me just put a pipe there so I can stand on it. So, if I were underneath it, it would dole out one at a time. And again, if I'm on top, if you ground pound it, dole out all it、once. does all of、And、them. You can see when I'm in maker mode that、uh, I'm able to control. What exactly doles out. So I could, instead of what we're seeing there, I could make it a cool kind of a staircase. And what's interesting with this course part, on top of the fact that you can do some really interesting platforms for Mario to jump along, you can actually do some interesting things with those blocks as they extend, pushing something else in the environment to a different location, possibly even blocking your way if you're not careful. To long、so、click everything? As as what do you mean by that, Rivers? Just, just, <laughs>、oh、just, just to show what all the. Just to show what all options everything has? All the way, but. You probably could crush him if it went all the way around and looped back on top of him. What a troll. And I'm gonna actually need to get out of this course, so let's move that pipe that I need to right there. You, don't you dare make a naked pipe right now. That should work. Don't you dare、uh, do that. I'm a sucker for aesthetic, so I have to fill this in even though it's not critical. And I'm gonna use a lot of ground blocks, so you can see on the top of my,、uh, all of my course elements and parts at the top, that's sort of filling in what I've used most recently, but I can tap. And hold, and that pins that to my toolbar.、Uh, so I will now have、huh. ground blocks、uh, whenever I need them. 
fill that in and make that look nice. Oh, okay, that's so that's a little bit different of a setup than the um, old palette really was. And you're yep. reusing I'm, I'm, that item. Pinning, so I'm gonna, pinning uh, stuff. Go ahead Same and, thing, like, essentially. Again, I'm having minus. It looks like you have more play. items if you can pin to. Maker, you know that, but if not, uh, very important. So let's just make sure that that works. Yep, that'll work. That's good. Are you really going right. to use Twitter, and Mark, to ask to somebody out who you've never met? Twitter poll was. We had three options for this one. Scale of one, one to ten. Yeah, how well do you think three. that's going to work out? Boom, boom, clear pipe, or a bully. Uh, I did not expect clear pipe to win, but it did. So let's add some clear pipes. Um, you can see I'm hopping into my... Uh, I tapped this... A, uh, Little magnifying glass Magnifying there. glass. And that gives me these um, different menus. Um, uh, I think sort of he's using a controller. Right and left between. He has to be. There's no way they'd enemies. be able to stream it. I've got gizmos, and you can see. Actually, something I really like is that someone who works in localization. We actually can see the names of all the parts as you're selecting them. Like the, if you're not quite sure what to yeah. call it, it'll just tell you right there. Yeah, and I love this dial system. It's so user friendly and accessible, and you visually see what you're selecting. Uh, there's that clear pipe I'd like right there. So, I had this idea. I was actually talking to Ethan back in the treehouse this morning about what to do with clear pipes because, again, I didn't necessarily expect it to win. And what I'm going to do is actually so check this out. So I've got this clear pipe sort of surrounding uh, the exclamation part block. I'm going to get rid of these Goombas for now because I don't need those guys around. I mean, at least on Tinder, going to that's why you're there, right? Take a Spiny and set him on top of that block that I need to get to. Let's see what happens now if I go into play mode. So now this oh, is like, Oh, God! <laughs> Dude, yeah. fish so gates! I, now to hit That's that how you're block, gonna make fish gates. To, That's another way to make gates. Nice work. Um, but why have just a regular size Silly shit. Have a, now, what would happen if Mario goes in this pipe? Big guy. But why? I think and you get stuck work. in a never ending loop? Like, let's say you oh, yeah. rotated this thing <laughs> that guy's like that, that right? And you went <laughs> in and <laughs> actually, down. Actually, Would you ever be able to get out? Clear pipe. I promise there's a reason I'm doing this. Actually, let me pin that clear pipe too so I have it. So let's actually add two. Whoa. You see how awesome this is well, to watch somebody build this? This is Nintendo, why we need to be able to do this on stream. To Ew. use these clear pipes to get yourself around. Get Would you get in a around. clear pipe if it was you can only half? Toss fireballs in there as well. So it really is worth experimenting with this course part. There's some really yeah. interesting things you can do as far as so getting you know a whole bunch of stuff moving in a course at one time. I'm actually going to go back to my original plan because I actually liked how that felt. And yeah, I'd I want to show off that uh, that fireball you just mentioned. So uh, what I'm going to do now. So actually, this looks like it's totally playable. Uh, I should be. I've already tested that going up to the pipe. Uh, let me just zoom out. You can, uh, we'll, we'll but another section with touchpad, I guess. Don't mind that. Uh, <laughs> we'll get to that later. I think it's actually playable right now. So I think me, I think people will be able to. Uh, not people tap, will get used to uh, making minus, with the Joy Cons. Press and hold minus, and that'll allow me to play the course from the start as if it were brand new. Uh, uh, that sucks that it takes right a second to load up. Into the course properly. So let's go ahead and grab that. In Maker One, you just tap select, Slide and uh, it just takes you now right I to the beginning. If I want, or I think I can just go Dude, like freaks this. out. What? It doesn't kill him? <laughs> well, what the hell? <laughs> I thought they might take him out, but I think they actually have to be in the. Si I think to take him out, they might have to hit at the same time. So you know what? Let's get out of here. This is already too crazy. Maybe <laughs> I didn't right. need these fireballs after all, but it works. Iteration is what Super Mario Maker is all about. Yeah. So you trial and error, you see how things work. And that was actually a big part of the development process of the Invitational courses. Yeah, that's what Maker's all about. Trials, testing things, them, seeing if it works. You always need fresh eyes to try them out and see, okay, how's this working oh, man, as we far as difficulty tested, curve? We play tested and... these courses so many times. So right away, this, you drop into the second part of the course. And this is kind of where the Invitational really got exciting because the players would pop out of this and they'd have an immediate left or right choice. And if they were paying attention to that first exclamation mark block, the reason that we made you ground pound it so you couldn't hit it from the bottom is that so if you're paying attention, you would immediately start doing this to advance more quickly. But if you were just to tap the bottom, it suddenly becomes a lot trickier. And um, although Abdallah won the in Mario Maker Invitational, the Dragon Feeny actually had the fastest time on the first course. And the re I went back and looked at the video, the replay of her run, and the reason that she made up about, I think she beat him by about 30 seconds, is on this section, she immediately started. Yo, get them emotes in the chat. Beat, remembering that you can ground pound to get up this section uh, more quickly. That's right. I remember and, this. And not that he didn't do that as well, but um, uh, she just really took straight to it. And You're goddamn right she did. The that didn't complete this section, Yellow Killer B and the Completionist, uh, they actually didn't quite get up this 
section as Being quickly swagging as swagging on him, dude. You can see. I did find it really interesting. All right, Mark. Ever go to uh, good rest of your day, dude. You gave them a choose your own adventure situation. Yeah. I don't think anybody so right there, went left how, first. That's how I would have gotten to the pipe. I'm intentionally falling, I swear, so that I can show the other side. The other side is a little trickier. It actually is deceivingly easy at first. But once you get up here, you can see that we've got these blinking blocks. And those blinking blocks don't require any kind the of... the wall jumps. Show them. I said it was easy to get to them, but I couldn't even get them. So these blinking blocks are just sort of blinking in and out of the course on a regular timer. You can hear the sound cue, and then you've got to... Dude, I'm mad that he did the he did the fish with the yeah, wings in the paratrooper and we didn't get to see it. Sideways. You got squanched. Sideways. And those actually can kill you. I think some people watching the stream, nobody died on those and they were like, will they hurt you? They will if they pin you right against Of course the they'll hurt you. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, wait. Do they not really hurt you if they, do they I'm, only I'm sure push you? How can make this course more accessible to people who maybe we actually saw some of our competitors really couldn't get up this very Do they not hurt you if you touch them? What? Change you can make. That's crazy. Change the mechanics only by I didn't know that. Uh, course theme. So for this, this is in the sub area of the uh, course. I'm going to change it to forest. And of course, vertical sub areas being something else that's new to Super Mario Maker 2, it is really interesting the way you can build up these courses when you have so much more verticality to play with. Yeah, and you can even see that it says... You hear that music too? That, uh, if you switch to forest, you can add water, and that is exactly what I'm going to do. So over here to the left, I've got this water level, and at the bottom, I can, I, I can start both the starting... The start of the water and then the high, that dotted one is sort of the high water mark. I guess I'm so. Take that all Elemanus. the way to the top. Uh, not like, up into will the, the next will area. the top, Just will the up and down ones hurt area. you? And I've also got this arrow, so I can tap it. If I tap that, it'll the water will go to that point and then all the way back down. I just want it to fill the room completely. And if I tap and hold, I can change the speed at which that water will fill. I'm going to go, let's see how double speed works. And what this is going to do is once I come into this room, I can obviously start if I'm sort of going for speed. I could start. The oh, I'm, already, I'm, behind. Behind. Speed. I'm already yeah. behind. I'm already behind. So what's nice is it can actually fill the room. So a better player might be able to sort of stay ahead of the water. There we go. Now I can get a little a little lead on the water. Oh no, I'm still too slow. So but this is allowing a player that couldn't handle these jumps to much more slowly, but quite easily beat the course, but not nearly as quickly as somebody who uh, had those more advanced uh, platforming skills. And that's just a really neat way that you can sort of use these new... No, 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 no. <laughs> Back to swimming. No, 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 no. Uh, and I just love that because, you know, if we'd had this water in this for the Invitational, like, it would have probably been too easy, but certainly no one would have gotten bogged down uh, right there. Yeah, it definitely makes it possible for you to make something where if somebody wants to have a sort of time challenge and have a race, they could get through that much faster, but nobody's going to be left behind entirely. Yeah. This is the Koopa Troopa car section, which I'm just going to... The car is so crazy. People are going to have so much fun making courses for this. We had to play test this thing so much to make it so the player had to use the car. Uh, we didn't want them to be able to cheat by jumping out of the car. Why couldn't you? And I'm just going to rip right through it. But so one thing I did want to show off... Why couldn't you cheat? Because of the spikes? So I'm going to hop right back over to it. The car actually can break. So <laughs> I made that look easy because I've Must played be it several a Ford. times. But if you don't quite understand how the car works, you could say right here. Oh, so right there, those spikes would actually take me out. If Got I had it. lost my car at some point. So if you had bumped it into, say, like the ground environment. Yeah. So we have a reset door here. So if, if you had lost your car here, you could hop back in. And That's actually one place where the trampolines are really useful. If you want to build a course and have surfaces the tra uh, car's not going to get damaged on, it'll bounce safely off trampolines. Yeah. And so this car, let me find a wall I can crash into. We took out most of the walls, actually, so that you can't break the car because we didn't want the players to get it bogged It looked down. like he kind of like went in the air slow and then accelerated while the he was in the air. Like, you're able to there you go. control you it. Oh, damn. Car coming off. Off each time oh, damn. Show off, show off those three hit points. And now the P-switch that oh, was triggered there. Oh, that's right. interesting that you, you get three hits. Can't White. That's something I think is new, right? Get That's new information. Car, which was uh, by design. Because I mean, we wanted could the car. Hey, did anybody else yeah, know that? You could try. I mean, somebody probably could, but we wanted you to sort of need the car. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so let's hop through there since I already did that once. All right, and uh, 
I didn't have the car in this moment, but the car cannot go into pipes. You could take the car into that. Uh, Dude, I'm gonna pop the fuck out, out of my car and hit him there. Go ahead and uh, like, hit in this pipe, which I could not have taken the car through. Even crazy. if I wanted to. On the subject of the car, though, I do love that the Koopa Troopa isn't even wearing his shell. He's just chilling out like weekend style Koopa Troopa, no, and you're like, true. "Dude, I need your car." It's true, <laughs> Dan. True. Uh, Give me the keys to okay. the whip. So this is the next section. This section's really simple. I actually this love is where they the, had the, the Twitter poll on what to what add. Section look like that tree just looks really neat. The background's beautiful too. One hundred percent. The only bro. way to advance in this section is to climb up here, grab the super bell, and turn into Cat Mario. And now that I am Cat Mario, I can, you know, add the whole another new gameplay style uh, mechanic, which is climbing walls. So I could quickly climb out of here. But this section was so sort of basic that we again uh, had a Twitter poll asking uh, how could we make this more exciting. Uh, we had three options for this one. If you guys voted, you saw that we could uh, have Hop Chops, Piranha Creeper, or Bonsai Bill. And Piranha Creeper won, which is exciting for me because it fits the aesthetic of this forest theme so well. Are there Yoshis? There are Yoshis. Uh, so Piranha Creepers, similar to the exclamation mark blocks, you kind of control, you as the creator, control like how they, how they dole out. So I'm going to put this guy over here, have him kind of come over. Did they actually fit the aesthetic that you picked, or did you pick this aesthetic because you knew you were going to be doing creepers? Dude, Nintendo Illuminati's. A little bit different on that one. Don't try and conceal the truth. Oops, I didn't quite attach that. lava. There we go. Creepers, yes. So let's go back in the pipe. Because I want to see how these look when I actually load in the way you would. So suddenly this area is a lot more dangerous. And they actually kind of, I kind of like that they actually kind of guide me. I'm like, oh. You can spin off them though, can't you? This tree feels safe. Let's go up there. Yeah, okay. You can, you can here, jump off actually, the, the actual lips of right, him. I can probably it's so weird that his head and his him. lips are the same thing. Up the wall. Nope. Oh, I didn't quite oh, make it. That's tight. Or I could just take I like the dismount. You can, you can kill these things too. But if I tap and hold, you can also do blue. Blue boys. Uh, piranha creepers. They're going to be fast boys. What those do is extend out to where you made them end and just kind of hang out. And look and at the they... sound. It's almost like they're sleeping. Yeah. You hear a little snoring sound? <laughs> Let's change those back to purple. It's a little bit more exciting, I think. I'm going to make this one not so difficult. Since one thing I was doing, we'll have it. I should be able to now... Climb up, grab the cat suit, wait for him to go down, climb up, ooh, and get past there. Nice. This next section, I'm not going to edit this section, I'm just going to get past it. You should. It. Really cool mechanic here, though. You have to wait for the snake block to fill over, to cover up. Oh, no. This is See? the part that also uh, got the players at the Invitational, yeah, too. Yeah, because it's this a little is bit poorly designed. Reverse, yeah, because uh, if I jump to the left, I'll hit those springs, but if I wait for the snake block, I can really messing this up. I think up. it was interesting since the purpose of this I don't think you can double wall cat. I don't think you can double climb with the cat. I don't think you can wall climb with the cat. It's going to give you a bit more time to land oh, you those can. Okay. If you really want to go for a faster for time and you want to take it. the extra risk, you go with the blue side, it's going to go faster for you. Yep. Exactly. Uh, oh, no, what's some new information we got, everybody? We got the car can take three hits. What else did we get? Wait yeah, your, your car can crash into something three and times and before it explodes. Okay. Okay. I'm cheating. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ethan. Just for the sake of time, we're, we're, we're going to yeah. allow more. Go back and watch the invitation. Let's see how uh, the players made it through that. Because we have a really important thing to do this last section. So the last section has these two jumps. Kind of challenging jumps. Up to... Oh yeah, the 3D finish. thwomps, uh, the the sideway thwomps in 3D world don't actually hurt you when they touch you. Uh, Hit that on-off switch actually changes the trajectory of those, and where that would take me they is they push you, they can squish you against the wall, but they don't hurt you. Drop me at the goal pole, and I'm done. But that's a very simple ending, and we wanted to have a boss battle. Yeah, you have a lot of open air to play with down there as well. It seems like it'd be worthwhile to take some advantage yep. of that. So mm -hmm. as quick as I can, I'm going to drop myself in here. Let's get out of the way there. I'm actually going to use this warp block. And this I'll is where we get into here. our final poll result. Yep. I'm going to do some... I love it because I can do the zoomed out mode, and I can do some hardcore sort of... The zoom mode is great. Bird's eye view editing. 
I can't add new parts when I'm in this zoomed out mode, but I can grab blocks like this. Yeah, you can key the word box. They showed that off yesterday, though. Loss of course, really quickly, which is oh, bye bye. And I don't even have to worry that I'm grabbing the exact amount I want. I'm just sort of, you know, it'll fill in what's not filled in. Okay, I've got my, that's there. I've got a nice big open space. Zoom back in so I can actually change parts. We're gonna tap these guys in and out. Quickly give me some ground here. They're like, hurry it up. You're over time. Make it look nice and pretty. Like, All right, we don't so give a shit about that. I want you to actually have to defeat our boss. So first of all, who are we going to add? We have three choices. So our Twitter poll result, I believe, we want a big Meowser. So Triple stack Meowsers. Here's Meowser. Here is big Meowser. Nice. Oh Here is big flying Meowser. Oh, my God. And I actually want you to have to defeat him. So I'm going to change this to a key warp block and give him the key and of course we're going to need a key to activate that so let's grab that and throw it in his ass it in, attach it to meowser there it is and if i'm going to defeat meowser i'm going to need some help so i'm going to give myself uh, a pipe with some hammer bros to hammer sure suit. I have a pers persistent supply yes. of fire flowers and i would love to see more of that koopa trooper card what are you going to so do with the koopa trooper give, car big meowser a few buddies um I might, I might, I might be putting those for my own benefit, not Bowser's. Benefit. <laughs> Let's see how this works. Are they gonna run into each other? Oh, they sleeping. sleep in the car. Look at that. They're sleeping. Wake up, dude. Not anymore. Wake up. Give me one of those cars. And, oh my. Oh. So Meowser, when he's got wings, has some really interesting attack patterns as well. So we might see him go through a few of those here. You will never. Do what are you doing? I'm crashing one car into another. There he goes. He went to the bottom of the screen. Look at him. Oh, that's so crazy. Not today. <laughs> oh, you can bounce <laughs> off the top car. of him. In the, ca in the car. Uh, so that's interesting. It actually it hurt Mario. It didn't hurt the car, this fire. What? There oh, they're iframes because he jumps oh, into the front. Oh, he went into the back. Dude, you can't even do nothing to him at that point. Yes. Uh-oh. Yeah. You have that's to jump on top. Right. Otherwise, you're, you're going to take damage, not oh, your yeah, car. He is. I agree with that. I feel oh, like no. it takes oh, too long to start moving the car, dude. You're gonna die. Oh, it's over. Oh my Mario got that I was about ass to say more burnt. We're running out of cars, but I know, I know. just ran out of lives. I think Stop I using the car. Try, though. One more try. Do not use the car. They're gonna cut me off the stream, and I'm just gonna be playing this on the stage persistently for the next like hour and ruin the whole stream. <laughs> oh, it's absolute madness and chaos. Oh. Get him. This dude is styling on Bowser oh, so right nice. now. Dude, he's hitting 360s <laughs> on his ass. All right, I'm gonna be smart. I'm yeah, right. Smart. Spam the Get fire my... flower. Oh. Oh. Okay. He, well, oh my gosh. he murdered him. No. How... He was able to knock him back down. He oh, he like grabbed him. He went for a grab. That's crazy. Back in my car. Back in my car. Oh no! Oh, no. Why back would you car. get back in your car? You have unlimited oh, fire flowers. <laughs> My car has no wheel in the front. It's is... <laughs> still good. You got three wheels. You can make this work with three wheels. Oh, oh my gosh. Everything's fine. I'm, I'm just hoping there's a guy at E3 with a with with, oh with, with a, a billboard that says spam fucking fire flower <laughs> on it. Everything's on fire. And they're just like. Fine. There you go. Okay, I believe in you. You can do this with firewalls. But this is actually, without the car, it's actually giving a chance to show off. This is what's cool about the 3D World style is it's 2D 3D World, but there's all these sort of effects that... Yeah, they do play oh, on the, yeah. the fact yeah. that it is 3D. I'm like, what? Part fireworks? <laughs> so sick. Firework display, too. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Sorry, well I got really sir. excited. <laughs> no, dude, that was awesome. <laughs> We're probably way behind now, but I don't care. I yeah, defeated right. Big Flying Meowser. Uh, hopefully that showed you guys the way. The director's like, I'm, I'm glad you don't care. Glad somebody doesn't care. Uh, maybe not a lot of enemies. We added a boss fight. Uh, we made one of those parts that's really tricky, easier to easier to get up. Showed off some of the maker tools. Yeah, I could go on all day, but I'm probably out of time. And we also made this interactive because of the poll, so we had <laughs> yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, thanks then. if you guys voted on the polls. And thanks if you watched the... Uh, Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational. If you want to see this course in action, go back and check that out. So, apparently, uh, Nintendo decided to have two Super Mario Maker uh, sections, portions, uh, in the treehouse today. We watched the first one live, and here's the second one.
This one focuses a bit hey more on multiplayer. Welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. I'm Sam, joined by my colleagues Morgan, Sam, second Sam from the Treehouse, and <laughs> Teresa. Hi, guys. And Can you guys we are hear back okay? to show you a little bit more of Super Mario Maker 2. Last segment, we took a pretty good look at the Super Mario 3D World course style, had yep. some fun in there. This time around, Morgan, you're going to show us some of the new stuff What's that's been shadow? added to jazz up the classic game styles. Yeah, we're going to show off some of the other uh, styles, some of the themes, and uh, most importantly, there's four of us on stage so that we're going to play this course, four-player local, once we uh, finish fix, uh, finishing it off. So uh, right off the bat, I just wanted to show some, this is the original, original Super Mario Brothers style with some slopes. Um, Craziness. Already looks, just looks kind of crazy. Yeah, it looks yeah. weird. Looks weird. And even like Maker a one didn't have Mario slopes. Sprite. I mean, yeah, SMB one doesn't have Mario slopes. Now that looks unnatural. Really it's funny because of like how natural it looks for all the other ones, but that looks so gross. And if I run, I can really get some speed going on these slopes. But yeah, there's a know, sliding animation. What's up, Ray? Looks fake. Sliding down a hill. I think we need some snow. Some snow? Let's SMB one snow? Let's see it. Oh, wow. So good. So good. Wow. Look how good that looks. Oh, I'm getting a little bit more slide, but I feel like butt sliding, especially icy butt sliding. Is it looks so good. Super Mario World style. So that that snow for this. Yeah. Wow, Super Mario this looks beautiful. Was, is something that's newly added to the game. That 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 uh, design, all of that art is brand new. That's right. So and the music I'm go too. Here and all I'm going to do is press down. I'm going to duck. Wee. It looks like it's not as fast as regular SMW. And that just feels good. I, no other inputs. I'm just sliding. And you can see where that on-off switch is, where I ended up my slide. So keep that in mind. Okay. Let's go back up to the top. But, Keeping in know, mind. I've been playing with Mario all day. So Change what do you guys think? Change it yeah. up? Yeah, yeah I would say so. Let's see someone else. One of the neat things you can do is in settings is just change your character. So we've got Mario, Luigi, Toad, Toadette. You guys have a... Dean! Let's go with Toadette. Toadette. Sounds good. All right. You can just play as Toadette. What is this tag for my courses? Don't lock. What my, is that? Um, of how I play. It's just going to change. Look uh, at that adorable look. Super Mario World Toadette. I know, isn't that cool? That's awesome. So worth mentioning, this won't affect story so, mode. In story mode, you are Mario trying to rebuild the yeah, castle. But right. it is so cool that when you're here as a maker and then trying out the stuff that you've made, you have this extra variety and getting to see how the, all these So can you force a player to play really as fun. Toadette That's or exactly Luigi? Right. It's, it is really fun. It just gives you a little extra, you know, good vibes. So I want to change it to night. And nice. Wow, night snow. Is, Man, it's so crazy the amount of like in the snow theme. It, it, things and get the music's slipperier. different too. So again, I'm gonna What's do up, dog? Yeah. Hey. hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna so do happy. So ridiculous. <laughs> just like, just flying by. <laughs> like the even the ground tiles look different so at I'm night. Do that. Same thing I get again. Just press down. And keep. How many themes are there? Eight or ten? And then they all are Perfect. different with night. It's almost like you planned it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But that just shows how you can just by changing the tonight, suddenly right. you've got this whole Oh. Uh, so yeah, look at the amount of slide like difference because when you put it on night, it's, everything is yeah. uh, ice so effect. We're going to show this off uh, on off switches. This is the simplest application. The on off switch is an incredibly versatile course part, though. It's really interesting the variety of situations you can build up just using this one piece. I'm going to need a way to trigger that one. Mm. You almost had enough momentum to get up there. Almost. Not quite. Actually, I maybe, but we're going to go with a way to trigger this on-off switch, which is pipe. We need some way to trigger it. How about a Koopa? And you know what? Let's change the color of the pipe. So tap and hold. Oh, yeah, look. And just see that so you're going to be able to change pipes. the so speed. Besides being a color choice, which can be cool if you're color coordinating a course, those arrows are actually representing how fast whatever you put in there is going to trigger. Yep. That's exactly right. So let's go with red, which has the... Uh, oops. And that's cool. That's Dude, new turbo Super speed. Mario Maker too. That, uh, this thing that is just going to shit out shells. You could control before. Koopa, Koopa, Koopa. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> There's so many Koopas. Which is the slowest. And that'll give you one at a time. And let's go back <laughs> over here because... I would actually have already turned that on. Yeah, red pipes and castle levels will, will be dope off. for sure. Uh, wait for this guy. Get the world's slowest pipe. Yeah, he seems lonely. I feel like the red pipe, he had his whole family with him. All right. It's a beautiful nice. thing. So we're through there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what more on-off switches? Okay, I'm really obsessed with on-off switches, and I think a lot of people at home are going to be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, made oh, yeah. On-off switches are going to be abused all over the place. Speedrun style. 
Nice pacing. <sighs> oh, you got that little pokey looking snowman back there. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the little. Dude, it looks like elements. Olaf. So that felt great, but I want there to be a sort What's of up, a B route, uh, an easier way that if someone doesn't want to do that, or when we're playing four player, I don't know. That we'll so be able good, to do just that everything covered in snow. <laughs> we can try. You're already anticipating the chaos that's oh, yeah. about to happen. <laughs> so I'm just flipping through my menus here. What I'm looking for is this snake block. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put one of those down here. Snake block. Starts off as four blocks. I can actually make it a little. Let's make it a six. You can also change the speed on it. Six wide. And put a rapid boy in there. Seven wide now. Nice. Well, seven's fine. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna make it go straight over here and then. Start what are the white arrows for? Up, you see like this? What is here. that? Is that how long before it gets so back to like its initial speed of this snake block if start one? No, because those are only. True. It's only Very seven long, and that's definitely like nine long starts moving and if I tap hold blue oh, it's one yeah, speed right yeah. Yeah. after the what do you guys think? We're gonna be playing one block right after that on switch let's see if anything happens uh, that might be a little too challenging for us I mean, oh that's right they're gonna have to take four people across green, this but yeah and I'm actually gonna it is gonna be hype uh, tonight Mike to it as well let's bust out uh, Look at so all these different sound here. effects and these, the uh, music. Let's put this Mario 64 music on. It matches my oh, shirt. Right. So. Oh my God, Ooh, that's this hype. Part of the customization. This is so fun. I thought I saw something there, on Twitter so about this, we get but to that point, we should be uh, jamming. I, I don't think that they've point. showed this yet. Um, Wanna give it a test? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait for that four player. I'm gonna take the high road again. Oh, okay. We'll do that. We'll do that. All the four of us. Cool. All right. But we got a new part to show off. Yeah. All right. That is the swinging claw. You can see again, I cannot. Dude, this is so simple. <laughs> <laughs> this is so simple, Hope but like with four people, this is going to be nuts. Like, remarkably slippery. Mm. It is. even simple uh, levels like this, this will be like it really is. And fun as hell. That slipperiness. So I'm just going to jump and this, these claws will just grab you. Jump out. You don't have to do anything to have it grab you. And then if I don't touch the stick, it just kind of hangs out there unmoving. And then I can start to back and forth, build up some momentum. Jump, jump. Ooh, nice. nice. So only one of the, also, one of those can one person could be on those at a time, right? I know. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I've got this crazy Magic Koopa box uh, so that I can use touch controls while we're streaming. Right. Uh, I could be also creating with the Pro Controller if I wanted to. Both work great. Dude, uh, he called it a Magic Koopa sort of box. Mode right now. Um, so these these claws are great, but I don't know. Should we make this function harder right now? He called it a Magic Koopa box. I need me a Magic Koopa box. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Nintendo Magic Koopa yeah. boxes, please. So let me zoom out really quick too. Uh, I just clicked the right stick, and that so he can use touch controls while he's streaming. Going on, it's kind of sparse. Let's add some enemies because what happens when you add an enemy to a claw? Let's go with somebody simple right off the bat. How about a moles love snow, right? That's cool sure. too, Tater. So that'll just hold on to the enemy until I get close enough. Woo! Drop it like it's hot. It's like an evil claw machine game. Yeah, right. <laughs> he, has to, he has to deal with the slipperiness too. Look at that. And he's just sliding out. around too. So that's a good first enemy. All right, Slim Shady sounds good. In big in him. Nice. Um, I don't know, what do you guys him. think for the second claw? Uh, mm. We do boom boom. Maybe a power up in one of those because you're, you're going to need something at some point. Okay, okay. That is true. Okay, we'll do boom boom. Big boom boom. I think, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> that boom boom is ready to fuck shit up. Look at this dude. Uh, one more. How about He's uh, like... Wiggler? Everybody like Wiggler? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Wiggler. Look at how angry the boom boom is. He's ready for battle. Wiggler. With wings? Why does everything sure. have to be big? Oh my god, what is he trying to do to them? He attaches by his head. He's gonna nice. body them. <laughs> oh I like your guys' gosh. idea of giving us, uh, let's give ourselves. Like one player trying that, to get through that shit, yeah. not crazy. With four Give's people, that's gonna be nuts. Somewhat of a fighting chance, I guess. I think we'll be okay, and there'll be four of us. We'll I be don't fine. Know. Big Wiggler is worrisome. What's interesting here is I think you're going to need to. You know how hectic this is going to be. Run under the enemies to trigger them, so they drop out of the claws, and then you're going to have to backtrack to get back to that first one to swing your way up. So this is going to be really interesting, yeah, unless well, you can get your height off of one of those enemies close to the wall. Yeah. And we'll yeah, I guess they couldn't you know jump off, off the Wiggler to get up there, right? Away. Let's add a ten coin over if here. If they wanted to stop you from Actually, doing that, just raise the wall. Fifty coin. Ooh, Why not? Nice. Um, I've got another coin up here, and then I've Dude, got coins for days. Here. The icicles are awesome. Uh, they both aesthetically look look great. Uh, this one is is they're also dangerous, so you can if I were to jump into this, it would not be good. Um, you can also tap and hold those to change them to. Mm. So this is that. where they were like dripping the other day. Remember this when we were watching the Invitational? Enough. Yeah. So dripping does mean yeah, that they fall. Goodbye. 
and it'll respawn. And you can do so much with those. If you watch the Invitational, uh, yeah. the final course, uh, we got kind of obsessed with the icicles. You can stand on them. You can use them to kill Bowser. You can do all sorts of stuff. So icicles, yeah, I'm not going to talk any more about them now, but they're fun. They're, they're fantastic. And then one more thing I wanted to show off. So <laughs> this is like a. Was there anything deal, else to actually, say about the icicles? Really making courses and you place them and, and then they fall. Like rooms that feel and then well that's sealed it. off. So I can, I've got this kind of grill area curl. over to the right where I can still I can see this mm -hmm. pipe and this this mm -hmm. blank part I forgot to fill in. So as long as I have a, actually let me pin that ground tap and hold. So I've got this as long as I have an unbroken line of ground from bottom to top. I'm gonna make it too wide even though I don't technically need to. Suddenly, if I when I drop back into this area, now I think this is where this screen so scroll thing. Yeah, look at this. This is awesome. Right. Yeah. Like, see how the yeah. camera doesn't like go past it, so you don't have to there. fill in all that. Clean and oh man, it yeah. makes it look so yeah. nice. Of course, is that more professional look. Oh, as long as you so go nice. from top you to make, bottom, like, you do that any in rooms, all over the place. It's, it's gonna make levels. It gives you a lot more control over all of the space you've got to work within a course as well. What's nice there is really you're just building that full line perpendicular to the direction of movement. So if you were in a vertical sub area, something like this, it would be a single yeah, line horizontal. just going all the way across the screen from left to right and then you'd be able to accomplish the same goal exactly it's it's such a nice tool for creators and just to sort of put that polish that you want so i've got this sub area uh that we're going to be playing through it's very bare bones right now and i'm still in the same theme that's no fun let's get back down to the bottom Whee! Whee! <laughs> it's actually way more fun going down <laughs> than uh, oh my god dude climbing up. the biggest slide ever so let's mix it up. So we're already in night. So let's Slippery see slide we levels could do. all day. Let's see. What should we do first for night? We could do... One thing we could do is sky. Ooh, so clouds. Oh, yeah. Now. Sky is pretty It doesn't fun look as good. Sort of this That's cool. Whoa, shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Anti-gravity. Half gravity. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Too low gravity. Yeah. Oh, my God. Not quite the right course design for the this sky. It's going to be... Uh, we could yeah, do... it doesn't look as good. Need to go underwater? We can do underwater. And remember, there's a lot of white. It's real bright. It. So this is water plus night equals. Ooh, Dude, oh, water yeah. plus yeah. night? Somewhere. Oh it's my god! It's a setting I love. There's just too many options! Enemies and course parts actually serve as light sources. Right. So you can do some really interesting things if you go underwater at night and then place things that are going to be objects maybe you find them you trigger them to get some light uh, you can point, actually though. make yourself a maze where there's tons of stuff around you but you're not going to be able to tell so you're going to try to find your path through the course as you go that's yeah. such a great point sam so i'm going to go ahead and add a dude upside down piranha plan to show off what you were talking about hey little buddy you can oh see shit that that's awesome Ooh, look at that going to oh man there's gonna be so many levels where you have to like follow the fireball in order to know where the really hell you're going stuff happening with this setup. that's awesome I think it'll work that's really cool because you can I want to show off how that kind of has its own light source. So you can imagine a little level where maybe... Just imagine being surrounded by spikes. Fireball. Cool. Right, yeah. And you got to follow and the, the fireball. Works in the ghost house style as well. So if you're in the ghost house theme and you're in night, you're going to get this same really spooky darkness. You can do some really interesting stuff there. It's true. There's like, yeah, there's so many combinations. I, I don't even know where people are going to start when it comes out, but... Yeah, just pick something that inspires you and go with it. It would actually be really cute if you had Luigi as your maker. You could do like a Luigi's Mansion kind of thing oh, where I suddenly you make oh, a yeah. spooky, dark Luigi spot. <laughs> well, speaking of spooky, well, maybe not spooky, but uh, fiery at least. We've got all that Ooh. ice up top. So how about we actually switch to fire down here? Let's do the castle. And castle plus night is actually something I don't think anyone's ever seen yet. No, I don't think so. So let's, hit it. let's see what happens. Castle plus night? What does that do? So, okay, it's in that castle, but uh, what? okay. what's can, happening here? That's so cool. <laughs> so it's Dude, you're swimming castle, in a castle? I'm swimming, and I've got lava. What the I'm hell? I'm going to show off how this looks in New Super U, just because of the way the lava looks. I do love because we played with water levels in the forest theme in our last segment here. The little water level boat looks really angry. When oh, my God. Suddenly, he's just not... The happy little boat he Oh, was. yeah, look at him. He is panicking. <laughs> so if you do nighttime at a castle level, you That's swim. Right. I'm filling this whole chamber with lava. What are you doing? Dude, this looks morning? insane. <laughs> Make it go faster. What do you think? Triple speed, double speed? <laughs> um, but double let's, speed? Let's see maybe what triple speed looks like, but let's oh, not leave speed. it okay. there. What yeah. triple speed looks like? Okay. For the sake of science, I'm curious, but I don't <laughs> think oh I, I want to deal with triple speed. Let's zip back down to the bottom. Okay, We're going to so be our now, own Oh, my gosh. Here. This lava is about okay. to... 
All right, so I'm. Wow, spreading. the lava looks crazy lava too. That speed actually feels kind of okay. It's, it's got like a metallic shimmer on it. It's nuts. No There's like yeah, shooting point, stars point, in the background. Point, yeah. This is nuts. Each other, so we're be okay, okay. The walls a All right, bit. let's make a double, Jeez, guys, please. with the restraint, and we're gonna go back to to Mario World because that's how we want to play this final one. And yeah, let's fill up this chamber with some enemies and some coins, and then we can let's add a clear it. condition, and then we can play it four player. Okay. okay. So what kind of what do you guys think, Wiggler? Oh, Again? man. Again? Always with <laughs> kind of, he'll, be, he'll be swimming, though. Wiggler so. forever. What about dry bones? Since it's kind Look of swimming. that. He's not even swimming. I'm swimming. Oh, he's... Oh, okay, he's I like that. Yeah, walk. I like Dude, that. what? I like that. He realizes okay. what you've done to him. <laughs> <on Earth>. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, did you say a dry bone? He, yeah. So yeah. he doesn't swim. Dry bones. Oh, so he doesn't it. swim at all. Just oh, you. Dry bones. That one. Put him one right there. Right there. I'm gonna add some one more. thing to note too. Else? Anybody Maybe else got You're coins. swimming we gotta make this and well. able to place here. dry bones yeah. in Maker One. Yeah. If you were underwater and you placed a dry bones, it was oh, a fish. No, that's too crazy. So <laughs> dry bones <laughs> with underwater <laughs> physics is new. One magic Koopa at the end. For sure. The walls. I mean, let's have a magic Koopa. Okay, magic Koopa. Okay. <laughs> Sam's magic Koopa. Yeah. You've you seen what Magic Koopa does? <laughs> An unchecked Magic Koopa? So one of the things that's fun in the course creator that we're not going to show off here today, but just to talk about it a little bit, uh, folks, if you're just watching, if you take a look at the left side of Thank the screen, you. there's a little icon next to the Mario's Trail icon where you have two little kind of faces hanging out together. Yeah. What we could do if we wanted to just kind of kick back and work on a course together is actually swap over to co-op gameplay. So if nice. we did that, for example, each of us could take a Joy-Con and we could actually work together to build a course. This is something that I think especially is so going to be fun. So wait, left player can only hit menu, right player can only select Mario parts? For the first time. You could take so turns, we, so maybe Mario can't grab stuff? Take control How does that work? And it's like, okay, maybe I'm not ready to build my own course, but I like coins, so while you're building the course, I'm just going to put some coins here, or maybe somebody wants to focus on enemies, but it's so nice that you can work together and really kind of practice those communication skills and have a chance to build something that you can yeah, share. Yeah, see how there's dry bones and totally. fish right there? That should be fine. You were worried about Magic Koopa? <laughs> uh, yeah, dude, he's just filling know, we're, this we're with, with okay. shit. All right, I think we're about ready to play this thing, but as mentioned, I think we'd like to add a course condition to it. So, mm. Oh, yeah, clear condition. And, and here what's nice is the condition. What are they going to have them do? On what you've said in this course. So if we see it here, it's. Reach the goal without taking damage. Yourself. There's no way they'd be doing Reach that. The There's no damage. fucking that's way they're doing possible. that. Reach the goal without land. Uh, I don't think that's possible. Like 500 and coins. You can only set these clear conditions if you don't have a checkpoint flag. That's right. Otherwise no, this is. They showed this today, yes, Yoshi Girl. They showed two actually, different things today. This is just one of them. We watched the other one live on stream. They've been just shitting Mario Maker knowledge all over the place. All 10 Koopa Troopas, or you could make it. You know, you can always make can it the sub world be a different clear uh, condition? No, I don't think so. Uh, what do you guys think? We could do an enemy one. We could make it that we have to take out Matt. Oh, man. <laughs> or well, you, placed, you placed a lot of coins. How about we do the collect a certain amount of coins clear okay. condition? Let's see how many coins you place. It should you give us see, a count. We could do reach the goal holding a shell. As Fire Mario, that's kind of cool, too. I'm not sure cool I want to get a yeah. shell all the way through yeah. that. Dude, there's I no like way they're getting it. to the end yeah, after yeah, hitting all the, the <laughs> all that other <laughs> shit. So let's find there's the no way they're swimming through there it. while keeping the fire. It knows we've placed 155 coins. What are you guys comfortable with? That's Probably cool. not getting all together. Maybe The fact that, like, you don't have to maybe? fuck with that. It just auto sets it at all is what how many coins you put in the level. Oh, I like it. Okay. Nice shout out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to hear that music in a moment. That's right. true. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and save this. We're also gonna probably going to be putting out a YouTube video tomorrow or Friday with all the Maker 2 information this week. Music that's been so if you oh, missed yeah. any of it. And it feels like it captures the style of those original to games, in. even though for some of the games that this uh, Thanks, game Elvis. is pulling from, there wasn't a snow, there wasn't a desert. So mm -hmm. the fact that they've created music that fits in so well is just really enjoyable to play and some of the night themes are really relaxing actually when you yeah. listen to the music it's all almost right. like getting dlc for a retro game when you get to see all this new art and all this new music <laughs> for the original super mario brothers that's right so uh i went ahead and saved the edit we made i've got it here loaded up and we're gonna go ahead and course bot grab it and then go over to the right we've got this play together icon we're gonna tap that and give us a second while we all get our pro controllers synced up We might have only in. did we get three? Oh, we only got three. I think yep. we only got three. Oh, we can fix get back this. out. Yeah, <laughs> let's go back out. Let's no. try this again. Do not worry. Whoever's Mario can Ooh, go ahead. That music's out. Looks good. like I am Mario. Pop us out. All right, hop out of here. 
And actually, since this is your baby, Morgan, I'm going to let you okay, take I'll Mario. Take, take, okay. here. I love this music. I think this looks like Toadette. Cool. Ooh, we got four of us here now. We there we go. All right. I you am guys Toad. ready to roll? Yeah, let's do this. Thank you. Should we do roll call? I'm Toad. Hi. Three says Toad. I think I'm Luigi. Yeah, I'm Toadette. Luigi. Okay. All right, you guys cool. wanna? You guys wanna? Undo dog. I, I see butts love. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, I didn't jump oh, on my head. No. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sliding here. <laughs> Dude, how is the camera yeah. keeping up? So are they locked? Are they locked to... They have to be. It, like, you probably can't go back... That's right. All right. And off the go. screen farther than the front person. You have to work together. I wonder how that works in Versus, though. Like, what if you're crushing somebody? I guess you'd have your own screen. Well, no, on local, you wouldn't. Okay, Luigi, get the shell. They are bringing multiplayer to... Uh... Oh, I can't. Sorry. All right, let's try this again. Wait, it's good. There we go. Yeah, just go. Everything's fine. No, no, no. Wait. Luigi, why would you do that? Oh, well, okay. Toads are just going to watch the brothers here. It's all good. <laughs> Sorry. Damn it, Luigi. <laughs> okay, only one. Oh, Luigi. oh, nice work. They come back in the, right like, right, rainbow right, bubbles, too. Out. That's okay, awesome. Okay. We're going to have to take the, the party train. Hold okay. on. I like the noise wait, it makes wait, when wait, you're... Wait, wait, wait. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we so it's the penguin right. slide race. Remain I'm sorry. Calm. Remain calm. So we're still in the in the night. So the snow <laughs> theme. So this thing is really slippery. Yeah, it has taken on the super slippery. It's like. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. This is gonna bounce it. It's, it's, going up. it's going up. It's like oh, popping that ass on Mario's head, dude. On my head. Yeah. Okay. I can't jump. It's not my fault. <laughs> now, Your head's so bouncy. You guys remember we added only a single fire flower in that, but let's see what happens when we have four of us and we only have. Oh, a... I triggered it. Well, they each people. What? For everybody, don't get greedy. Dude, it just shits out fire flowers. Okay, that I've the other two there. What okay. happens if you're like, Go if you're like you. Teenage Mutant yeah. Ninja Turtles yeah. and you just Lost grab them all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be sick. This is gonna be, oh my no, lord, no, he's so no. big! No. I don't think I've seen him do the thing in SMW. Look at the sprite, it looks so cool. Look at the SMW boom boom sprite when he like shells up, dude. That looks so awesome. I'm gonna keep going. I'll see you guys right, later. Y'all better get up there. there. Oh, thank you for getting. Oh, did they try yeah. to get on one all together? Oh no, see, they're just cheating. Come here, Wiggler. No. Oh. I forgot you changed that to. One did of they see? Did, on you. did two people try to get in at the same time? No, I'm here. I'm good. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, mega Toadette. Just one of us could made it. Have went on the pipe and bubbled the others, but that's no. Yeah, fun. yeah. We all, we all made it. Oh no. <laughs> Bye. It's Bye. Bye. Wiggler. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. It, it has to be because Sorry, I think that was my fault. Okay. Toadette is next to small Mario and small Luigi, but there's something really it's funny about <laughs> the large Toadette okay, next to the small to rest of them. Oh, the oh, Bye, buddy. The fact that we just got that flag actually shows that we have cleared the clear condition. Right. Oh, whoa, whoa. I feel like I'm gonna, <laughs> look, look what you did, Morgan. <laughs> this is all Dang your fault, it, And then there was one. Dude, you better help your friends out. All right. Oh, not again. Uh, keep going, no, keep going. I'm trying to stay Why would you put guy? so many oh, enemies in here? Oh, Go! No. no! I love you all, but I'm leaving you behind. Sorry. <laughs> Get out of here. We could have set lava. For the record, Sam, we could have set the lava You're right. to, to level You're right. three. All right, so I feel like big finish. Maybe we could all line up, get a little space. Yeah, I can get two. Maybe do one okay. last. Get two right, Let's go. Right. Everybody line one at a time. Part. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. No, no. Give a little space. Oh, my God. I have to tell all my right. son not to go down the slide right. at the same time as people. Oh, Come on, Come on Toad. On. Again? Okay, on three, duck down. One, two, three. Yeah! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> nice finish, guys. Uh, That's awesome. Nice work. Yeah. Yeah. We could have probably made it even more dangerous than we That's did. That's super really. funny. We've got time after this is done. We, we can steal the system and go elsewhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Keep yeah, working. This is all I'm going to be doing when the game comes out. <laughs> which is like in barely over two weeks. Yeah, this game will be yeah, crazy. in your hands if you so desire. So. Yes. Um, I can't wait. Unfortunately, that's about all the time we have to torture ourselves by making this game right. harder right now. Uh, Teresa, Sam, that was Morgan, awesome. thanks so much for coming up and that hanging was out, awesome. folks watching. Thanks for tuning in. Please don't go anywhere. We are going to be checking we out. Have to, we have somewhere we have to go. Place. I'm so sorry. Two days before the release of Mario Maker 2, June 26th, I'm going to be in Chicago at Navy Pier, where they're going to be uh, with the first stop on the Nintendo Tour. So uh, if you guys have anything else you want to find out about Maker, uh, can you do this with that? Can you put, uh, can you put cannonballs on top of angry suns? Uh, can you hit an upside down midair? Can you do whatever you got? If you've got questions, if you want them answered, please jump in our discord, shoot me message or on Twitter, wherever this discord, Twitter, probably the two best place. Let me know what you want to see. Because if I get 10 to 15 minutes, I want to use it as 
optimally as possible and try to find out as much information as I can, not only for myself. I've got my own list. I've got my own list of things I want to find out, but I want to find out stuff for you guys too. So jump in Discord, jump on Twitter, and let me know what you want to see. Got it?